Jesus, my name's Steve. I messed up my hand at work. <laughs> so, sorry about the little scabby scabs. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be doing some d destroying of values. Some unboxings, if you will. Got my BBTS order in uh, for my pile of loot stuff. There's a couple of things in here that uh, we probably should have had sent a while ago. But yeah, just uh, I don't know, after seeing some things, I was like, you know, I can kind of wait for it to show up. What also kind of sucks, too, is that after I had this order sent, four Power Rangers showed up, so that would have been kind of cool because they were new and exciting. Uh, but anyways, what's in this package is got the third version of the Spawn figure that we've already done two customs of. To be fair, he's probably getting one, too. <laughs> um, think about kind of doing like an Al Simmons with him because I got that uh, Green Lanterns pack set and I kind of want to use the head uh, to make an Al Simmons and then do something with that. Uh, so that's probably what's going to go on with this. Um, I'll still open them up on here. Uh, real, uh, picked up this one because I forgot it was a thing. <laughs> I finally got it. Uh, but it's Naga the Serpent from the Slayers OVAs. What kind of reminded me to grab her is that there's this new statue coming out from Kodokawa that I pre-order because they just they don't make much Slayer stuff. And when I was just like looking up eBay stuff and just be like, I wonder what figures are out there. I seen her and I was like, oh yeah, I didn't pre-order hers. And uh, Big Bad had her in stock, so I snagged it. Uh, so pretty pumped for that one. And then finally got my Burning Godzilla, uh, which again was kind of like sitting in my loot for freaking ever. But decided just to hold off on it because I don't know, it was... After seeing stuff, I wasn't quite that excited for it. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna, we'll have a full-fledged review. Um, I guess we'll, we'll open the spawn right now just to get him out of the way because he's already been on this channel quite a bit. But just in case, if you hadn't seen the custom videos that we've done or the review, because uh, I, I really like this spawn figure in particular, so that's why we, we kind of getting it repeatedly to me i could also just leave this one intact like have like one spawn figure <laughs> left alone out of uh the three that i've gotten so far i don't know it just seems like it'd be kind of funner to <sighs> actually you know what because if i do that i'll probably just leave them in the box then so i've been in the box in the two cups all right, never mind. We're not fully unboxing him. Here's your spawn. I have decided because like doing the Al Simmons would be kind of cool, but do I need three? I could just put the Al Simmons head on the Commando spawn if I wanted to, like if I feel like spicing it up. So I think we'll just leave them uh, nice and minty in the box. Granted, if I go to sell, I'm gonna have to say it's open anyways because we just got the tape, but. Eh. Uh, all right, we're actually gonna do this a little weird. I'm gonna unbox this guy first. We'll do Naga last because that's probably the one I'm actually more excited to see how that turned out. You guys, on the other hand, I'm sure are here mainly for this. But getting this guy out of his plastic prison. So this will be the third one we've gotten of the same mold. We got the blue one. Blue one. I just got a new box in. So he's probably going to be going up for sale here sometime. Uh, this one I plan on keeping. All right, so dry brushing is kind of hit and miss from what I can tell. Because he's very yellow in this section. And the underside should be definitely on the darker red. But it's kind of weird because he's like really bright here. But then it transitions to really dark at the tail here. Which is throwing me off a little bit. Because you think it'd be kind of consistent throughout the body because the front of the legs like look how dark that is <laughs> like and this side's like fairly dark too but this side's like super fudging yellow hmm hmm i don't know i'm and then it's like he's missing like there's literally none on his arm here top's got some though well, I guess it's kind of the same on there. It's just the way the arm was set up. I guess, okay, maybe that was it. Just kind of throwing me off the way it was positioned. Because that looks a little bit better. And 
Okay, his eyes are painted. A little bit of white, they're yellow there. Just looking at it from the front angle, it's just a little weird. Ton's got some dry brushing on it as well. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's bad. Not as bad as I, I've heard some people say. Kind of curious, because I th he's definitely translucent plastic, but there's a lot of fudging paint on him, too, on how good an LED would sit inside of there. But it's a lot more yellow, orange, than I would like to see on the top here. Personally, then to me, it just seems like the way the brushing is is very consistent throughout the body here. Um, but to me, it seems like a pretty solid one. Very similar to the NECA one, though. So we'll definitely have to do a comparison video for that, too, after we do this review. Um, but I gotta say, not to toot my own horn, I still kind of like mine. <laughs> Out of all these ones I've seen. Uh, you guys can go check it out. I'll toss a card up here. But we did a custom of this way before this guy was even a thing that was announced. We used the bootleg. Uh, messed around with that. Thought it turned out pretty good. Definitely very Cheeto-y. <laughs> so is this, to be fair. Uh, but I do like the, the, the use of the darker colors. I think it actually really helps to make them stand out. It's just I kind of would have liked to maybe have seen a little bit more of that on this. Especially with the way the uh, film looked. Because it... it to me, it seems like the under lighting should be definitely a brighter color with the black contrast, and it kind of blends a little bit too much. But we'll definitely uh, play around with them a little more and get a full fudge review out. Oh, your mouth does not want to close. Uh oh. <laughs> Is that just the ball joint? Is the ball joint giving me problems? Because I know what the other ones do. This is the way it's set. I think my other issue too, now I'm looking at this. He didn't come with the beam, did he? <laughs> ah, crap. I popped that out and out. Does it? I go back in. Yeah, mine. This one. Something with the plastic here. It does. It, it rubs right here on the bottom. And same with on the top of the mouth. Oh, you know what? That does look like there's a little bit of extra plastic right there. Because that's about as far as it wa is, is. It's letting me. Uh, I still have, I think I still have the blue sitting on the floor. Actually, you know what? You're not really closing that well either. Like, I can get you there. But you give me a little bit of resistance. This one, like, this is where the buck stops. Right here. Well, this one, like, I can definitely give clothes a little bit more. This one just doesn't want to move. Is that the regular one down here? No. Oh, I do. Well, this is perfectly fine. This one's just like, God, I gotta force that. You see, like, the ball joint's already popping out on the bottom here. This one's just, like, perfectly fine. Oh, you know what? I think I figured it out. The under section of his neck looks a lot thicker on this one than it does on the original. Did they change that? Because it looks more detailed, too them on the original like it could just be the lighting also just spider web right there but <laughs> like the with the paint on it it could be helping it to pop a little better but that looks a little bit more detailed than what's on the original guy right here anyways so that could be an issue and yeah you don't get a beam that's kind of boring ah hmm. well, i guess we'll see if our, my final thoughts are the video but right now he's He's a bit of a hit miss. All right, Naga, don't fail me now, because the other one's staying in the box. <laughs> the other one's just kind of so-so. I need one figure to make me happy. And hopefully it is the scantily clad one. All right. I like the coloring on the box nice. I do like the purple. So. I think we're probably, if I'm going to be posing here, it's going to be with, like, the ho-ho-ho-ho hands. Oops, all right. Everything's coming out, I guess. Get her out of her plastic sheets. Her dress attire, if you will. I love the face. Face looks fantastic. Nice little hair sculpt. And a little bit of imperfection to plastic there, right next to the bane. Other side's not too bad, though. Uh, I guess I should probably do this properly. So, <laughs> start... Pull her apart. Oh god, we lost the booty. The way to the design, because like 
Um, like figures don't have to be like played with and articulated. These ones are more like you set them up in a pose. So the play value isn't as high with these, but the a range of stuff they come with. There's a little bit of paint right there, but eh, it's not a too big of a deal. You don't, it's part of the joint, you'll never see it. That's one curvy little nendroid though. Get her leg back in, cause that popped off way too easy. So here she is out of her prison. Cape is superposable, so that's pretty cool. That's permanently on there. But yeah, not too shabby. Arms go forward and back. She's got her little spiky bits. Because she's got all the armor plating that is necessary for a, uh, um, like a fantasy character. But you got the spikes. It's got a little nice shape to it. Uh, for some of the extra heads. Go over this here because I don't... Oh, she's got little earrings. That's nice. Yeah, that didn't want to pop off quite as easy. But we got the like crying expression, which has little holes here. Which I'm, I guess for like the way it's designed, it's kind of necessary. But if say if you just want her just kind of like eh, or maybe try to use this for like a happy express, the well, happy but like complaining <laughs> expression, uh, it's a little off putting. But these should just slide in. I'm just not exactly certain how I'm supposed to get these in. So go up or down? Up or down? <laughs> it's a look. <laughs> it is cool. It's definitely something that you've seen her do in the uh, OVA. So I appreciate it. Not going to use them anymore, but I appreciate it. A little too scary for me and then the other one is like the snarky expression which i like especially having her next to lena because she's got to be taunting lena how inferior her body is compared next to hers and stuff like that uh you also get some extra hands so you get a little elbow bend just drop that off the table get another one with an elbow bend so probably be using some of those here Looks like she's got some extra stuff in the baggie. If I can get it open anyways. So she comes with the, the same stand you get with the Figmas, extra neck joints. And then, wide range of effects. She also has an arrow and a couple extra little hands and a leg to prop up on. So yeah, pretty sweet overall. It's kind of cool to see her with some random effects and stuff. Uh, definitely have the effects be using in the thumbnail, but I'm just going to leave them in the package for now. Uh, so, so far, pretty pleased with her. Uh, the, the crying thing's a little terrifying, but everything else, definitely on board with Godzilla. I'm not too certain on you as of yet. You're definitely kind of hit and miss for me at the moment. And this bomb figure, if you guys haven't checked out the reviews, I really like it. Uh, knocked off her leg again, but... I was doing some pictures with the Venom that I recently got him. And here, here is the custom one we did. Uh, didn't have the axe in the video. The axe came later. Then it's kind of raising up a little bit. He was sitting on the ground. <laughs> but anyways, let me know in the comment section below which one you guys thought was the best. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come around your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.